Greetings now and welcome to the, uh, the Thoughts for Today. Have you ever thought of some of the great evidences of God's love for you? I want to took, uh, t- take a look at, at two of those uh, particularly today. Uh, many people make the, the mistake of thinking that, that placing faith in God eliminates all future problems. It makes everything perfect. <laughs> and those of us who do trust him know better than that. The Old Testament contains myriad examples of people who trusted God and then had problems in their lives. That includes Daniel and his three Hebrew companions, David, Jonah, even Moses. We find more in the New Testament with Paul and Peter and John and others. Now, God calls us to a life of beauty and intimacy with with himself but he, he never promises that it's going to be a life of ease and comfort. He doesn't even promise that it'll be a life where we always understand what he's doing in us or through us or, or around us, for that matter. Sometimes our fears and uncertainties may even feel like estrangement. It may feel as if God has left us to fend for ourselves. Such feelings may even include the sense that we're alone or worthless or disconnected. There are tools that God gives us to deal with those feelings. Reading his word is an example. That can be helpful. Uh, A trusted friend or counselor is another resource. However, in his message, when you're depressed, Bible teacher and author James White gave two other evidences of God's love, and I'm quoting here. I've said many times, if you become depressed as a Christian, if you're feeling abandoned by God, if you want the greatest evidence of God's love for you, you always look in the same place, the empty cross and the empty tomb. There's the proof of your worth and God's love for you. Closing the quote. Now, isn't God sending his son to pay for our sins proof of his love? Of course it is. Of course it is. And it's a great comfort, too. So is the empty tomb, which is evidence that Christ's sacrifice was sufficient for us. Concerning the the, the death and the resurrection of Jesus, Paul wrote, who was delivered for our offenses and, that's the empty cross, and was raised again for our justification, that's the empty tomb, that's in Romans chapter 4, verse 25. And faith is not some mystical, nebulous feeling. Faith is confidence in God's faithfulness and his dependability to do what he says that he will do. The empty cross and the empty tomb give us evidence that he has done that very thing. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. That's in Proverbs chapter 3. Verses 5 and 6.